I'm Robert Alphonse and I'm in Rough Trade in Brooklyn, New York. I'm gonna go record shopping. Alright, on. Uh, my first pick is Apex Twins Selected Ambient, 85 to 92. I think he was like 15 or, or like 14 or something in eight, like 86, 85. It's like some of the best tracks ever made, like the first song Crystal and like, yeah, it's just like a whole beautiful atmospheric world, nothing compares. Helios fan, yeah, there's like endless, endless like gems on this one. Alright, this is the only Kate Bush they have. The newest one, 50 Words for Snow, it's exceptional and I don't know, I feel like it was underappreciated. It's it just like flows like and there's like 16 minute songs on it yeah it's super super atmospheric and moody and i love that she's so notorious for being like an electronic musician and, and this one in the record before it's like very driven by just piano and like her voice and it's brilliant it's brilliant all right this is the only cop two things i have but it's a collection of, uh, I mean, I get these from all over the place. Anyways, the Contra Twins are like maybe my favorite, thing, my favorite musicians. Um, yeah, they have like a little bit of everything on here. Maybe my favorite record is Head Over Heels, which is like the second one they released. It's like super dark and super terrifying, and I never used to listen to it because it would freak the hell out of me. But they have a song, Sugar Hiccup, which is like beautiful and major and rising, breaking through the dark clouds. Um, like, this is a wonderful collection of it all. So this is uh, Slow Dive, Pygmalion. Um, it's the third record they did. I always hear that people don't like this one because it's sort of like the least concrete of an album that they did. It's like super ambient and stuff, but there's some mega gems on it, like Blue Sky to Clear, which is, I guess, the end of Generation, I think. It's like the credits of that. It's it's like one of the most beautiful songs ever written. Um, so yeah, it's my slow death day. They have the new burial, which is exceptional, and it's like definitely the best thing next to the LP Untrue. Definitely like taking chances and trying new things, and it's super like dream poppy at times. And he's using like crazy high toms and stuff. It's, it's like it like drains all of the sadness out of you. It's, it's like the best thing ever. I work solo on this record, and um, that was like sort of the biggest challenge of of this record compared to like having a collaborator in the first one is that I gave myself like a a nice realistic deadline but because of that you have to really be good at editing yourself and you really have to sort of like stick with your gut yeah it was very it was very intense not having somebody there to like give me that sort of boost or that sort of self like evaluation I had different like aspirations for what I wanted the record to sound like. I had different influences. Definitely with this new record, it's more of a dance record. Yeah, I was like really starting to learn how to make beats and like bass lines and things like that that are like sort of the essential like backbone of dance music. And um, vocally, I definitely let myself free a bit more, and I wanted to challenge myself. I'm like singing way higher, which is things that I just purposely left out on the first one, so. I had an older sister who was a musician and piano player, so I really like got excited about making music because of her. My aunt would listen to pop music, that's how I first heard the Pet Shop Boys, and my sister was the one who got the Real McCoy CD and like Ace of Bass and Alanis Morissette and like stuff, like all of that stuff is like the reason why I started singing. I think that she's like a genius and she's, um, she'd be like so fun to work with. Her or like Kate Bush. Yeah. 
it's okay, I feel like Crystal Waters needs to like do a crazy new album because it would be incredible. I'd be up to it. I'd be up to it. That would be so fun. All right, see you guys listening to my new record. It's out now, Joyland on Arts and Crafts. <laughs>